This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go! And now out comes Houston. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. Oh, the ball is in. Watson lost it. It's picked up by the Titans. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Brandon, that's the third time he's fumbled so far in this game. And, you know, you can make excuses for each and every one of them. But the bottom line is, he's got to take care of it better. And now that he's shown a propensity for fumbling it, just think about what the defenders are trying to do. Yeah, well, guys hate one fumble, twos, oh my goodness, three or more. Wow. Just doesn't make any sense, does it? That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Edwards operating from the gun. The quick slant caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, the ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. To throw is Edwards. Gonna throw on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. There defensively to knock it away was the safety, Justin Reed. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you gotta try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens, because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they out. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. It's caught inside the 25. Watson to Hopkins for a huge hookup and even 50 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw, Watson buying time to his left. His throw caught right around the six. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Now Watson, that is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year, as they have now chopped this lead down to three. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab the nugget when I can. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. It'll be a 20-yard gain on the play. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Looking to throw. Edwards got a man. It's Brown. 
Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. And he finds Corey Davis. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. This quarterback now five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Edwards now from the gun, he'll throw. And he will find Davis, that's complete. Two shy of the ten. 25 yards there on the catch and run. This quarterback now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. Back to throw. Edwards. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Janu Smith, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Point after, up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Oh, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. And that is incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. They're going for it. It's Watson. He'll buy some time right. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Two man, it's Jamal Williams. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They run it again with Williams. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Touchdown, Houston. Jamal Williams. His first touchdown of the new season as they have now chopped this lead down to three. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. 
And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Here's Edwards. Operating from the gun. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game. Unable to find the completion. Yeah, just a... Go now. 15 line. 15 line. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. Smith. Now Edwards throwing again on second and ten. It's caught. Smith. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. The penalty moves them into the red zone here on first and ten. Looking to throw. Edwards. And it's caught. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Dante Pettis with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a Tennessee score. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter play. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. They'll run it again with Henry. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Edwards from the gun, he'll throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Edwards. Going to throw again. He completes it to Henry. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. A gain of 32 that time. Big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excel it. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot.
So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Edwards now operating from the gun. Completes it to Davis. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. It's caught by Davis, and the stop will come inside the five at the four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. From the gun, Edwards got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Dante Pettis there to make the grab, and the Titans are able to extend their lead. This offense certainly looking a lot more comfortable here at home. They lost last week in the opener on the road, but there's something about that home opener that makes you feel more settled. Yeah, I wish we could quantify it, too, because you're playing the same game. The field's the same, you know, size. We know all of that. But being at home, sometimes when you do things well, you get that extra push from your home fans, and it elevates your game. And in the driver's seat right now. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. He's going to look to their first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 43. On first down, Watson being chased out left. Going deep for Hopkins. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now Watson throwing again. He's going to look deep end zone for Hopkins. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. The Texans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 10. Now it's Watson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Dancing to his left. And this is incomplete. Bill O'Brien rolls the dice, but to no avail. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. On second down, here's Henry. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third and a few inches. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And they're on the tackle, Shaq Lawson. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two minute warning. On second down, it's Henry. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on. It's in possession of the football here as we get your reset. 
And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Derek Henry. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's Edwards from the gun. He'll throw. The open man is Smith. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer? for? Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. That game's gone final in Indianapolis, and the Colts have now swung back in front in that game. Jacoby Brissett, good game throwing the ball over 300 passing yards. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the block field goal. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Watson now to throw. He's going to let it fly. It's caught at the 10. The Clemson connection. Watson to Hopkins for a big one. 58 yards. Watson on first down. Steps away to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. One last throw here for Watson. And this is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Well, at least at the very end, there's something to take away. They lost the game, but got in the end zone, got a two-point conversion as well. I don't know, though. In the end, you, you still lost the football game. You still lost the game, but maybe they were just capitalizing on the flurry at the end, right? You scored the touchdown, keep the momentum going, go for two.